Hi there, I hope you're good. I wanted to share with you my top five social media predictions for 2019. Now there are lots of trends out there at the moment across social media and the digital landscape. But what I've done is I've refined what I think will be the best features and channels really for you to try as a small business owner this year. You know, that ultimately is my job. What I do is to help inspire you to take action and to, to push you really out of your social media comfort zones. So I do hope that you try at least one of these new trends within your small business social media this year. So my first prediction for you really is about uh, user generated content. So this is content that is generated by your followers, your customers, your clients, and that they have talked about on social media and they've tagged you into it, your product or what have you. And that's content that you can then use on your own platform. But obviously gain permission, first of all, from the person who created the content originally, uh, nine times out of 10, if you send them a private message um, on the channel that they've put that content onto and uh, you know have expressed the fact that you want to promote that, you want to use it on your own channel, nine times out of 10, they will be more than happy for you to be able to share that content. Just don't forget to tag them into that. But user generated content really is content gold, you know, for two reasons. Firstly, it helps you to connect and build relation one-to-one -one relationships with, you know, your customer base, which hopefully develops something over the long term, whereby you can, they'll come back and purchase from you again, or at the very least, you know, recommend you to their loved ones and, you know, friends and family. Secondly, it really does help you to produce more authentic content. Now, authentic content really is a buzzword, um, sort of like banded around quite a bit within social media, but being authentic, you can't get much more than that uh, via clients and customers, uh, users of your brand, your product, your service, actually raving about, about you and your brand to begin with. So as I say, that's content goal. So use that where you can. These people are brand ambassadors for you. And hearing someone else speak highly of your product, it, you know, again, is, is perfect. You can wax lyrical about your own business and your services, but it really does mean so much more when somebody else has experienced your brand or your service does it for you in a natural and authentic way. So user generated content, I really do think it's gonna be a big trend for small business users as they go into 2019. Now, my second trend for you um, really is about the visual or rather the moving image in 2019. It won't come as a, as a shock, really. So, um, so you know, stories, video content, live video, that really is the way forward. Now, according to some, 80% of what will consume online in 2019 will be video content. So like it or not, you are going to have to start engaging in video content for your small business if you want your reach to start increasing, if you want your engagement uh, levels to start uh, rising too. Now I have over on my Facebook page and within my Facebook group, I've produced a number of different videos to help you to start producing videos. And some of the tips and the hints that I use, that I um, offer to my clients as well, and that have worked for them. So do go and check that out afterwards. Um, but in terms of so like video content specifically, again, I've got a number of different points here. But the first thing I'd say is uh, going live. Going live on Facebook in particular, or in fact, Instagram is ideal for appeasing those algorithm gods. And, and as I say, helping to increase your reach and your engagement as well. Now, just a couple of sort of like stats in terms of uh, going live on Facebook in particular. You know, it launched a couple of years ago. There are around about 3.5 billion uh, Facebook live broadcasts um, and the average number of daily Facebook Lives has gone up year on year significantly. You know, hundreds and thousands of broadcasts um, with friends, and that's called the Live With, and that's gonna become super popular uh, in 2019. So more, more of that collaboration potential between you and potential influencers, like-minded business owners, 
uh, customers, suppliers, clients within your industry, that would be a very useful tool for you to start investigating and using. Um, you know, the, the audience of now, really, they want to be involved with your broadcast. It isn't, it isn't a passive um, experience. It's very much an act. They want to take an active role when you are going live. So obviously they want to be able to comment, they want to be able to show you those love emojis, etc. But they want to ask you questions and it's a perfect environment for, you know, ad hoc Q&A sessions, uh, getting to know sessions, perhaps you've launched a new product. Um, it's a great way for you to be able to get some feedback and be able to get, you know, first hand user experience of that new product or that service that you've offered. You know, going live though has its pros and its cons. Uh, the advantages are obviously that you can build loyalty and trust very quickly um, by doing several lives. Um, builds that one-to-one -one engagement, lots of genuine uh, contact as well. And it gives you an adrenaline buzz. It really does. And I think that that adrenaline buzz really starts to give you or stimulate new ideas uh, for your social media content that previously by writing a post um, just doesn't quite give you. Um, you know, the risks associated with going live are the tech issues, uh, perhaps poor Wi-Fi can sort of like throw you off your um, your connection, off your, your video calls, which, you know, I've been there and I've done it. Uh, so just be aware of that. But it may well be that somebody throws you a curveball in terms of a question they put out there or an opinion. So just be ready for those sorts of things as much as you can be. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, live really is perfect. But if it's the case that you're not quite ready to go live, then so sort of like my third trend really for you has to, and this is where you can sort of like dip your toe in the water, it is Instagram stories. Now yes, Facebook stories has its own uh, version of it, but the I think the Facebook stories really is quite clunky and I don't think you get as many uh, features or sticker opportunities as you do within Instagram stories. Now remember, Insta uh, stories was built for Instagram, whereas it's more of a bolt-on uh, to, the, to the Facebook platform. But stories, they are the way forward when it comes to Instagram. They're at the top of your Instagram feed for a reason, because it's the number one feature that they want you to start using on their platform. Um, there are 200 million Instagram users um, using Instagram stories per month. It's enormous. People are getting involved with it because it's a brilliant format to use. And format is actually key for millennials and Gen Zers as well. And they love that authentic, meaningful, rich experience that brands and small business owners can give them. Um, and there are lots of ways to be able to create story content that will help offer your target audience something new over and above what it is that you've created within your grid. Um, now I explore content ideas and plans specifically for your business during my one-to-one -one social media coaching sessions. So if that's something that you want to be able to explore in 2019, then do drop me a message and we can start to work together um, on a specific coaching plan for yourself. Um, so really, I do encourage you to start getting involved if you haven't done so already with stories on Instagram. Now, um, my fourth trend really is about honesty and transparency. Um, so it's not so much a sort of a visual trend, but it is a, a mindset. It is a, a positioning that I really think that small business owners can take full advantage of. Um, so we as consumers are fully aware of how some people or brands use social media to portray a lifestyle that really just is unattainable or unrealistic for the vast majority of us. And I think there's been quite a shift in the way that influencers in particular um, have experienced the world of social media or the backlash really um, against that inauthentic, unrealistic lifestyle they're portraying within their feeds. Um, so but honesty and transparency, really consumers, they, they want the brands that they engage with, the businesses they purchase from to be genuine and to be realistic and relatable as well. And I think one thing that 
I've noticed more so over the last couple of years is that you know big corporate brands are desperate to be like us small business owners they want our attachment to realism and that closeness that we have that we've engendered with our clients and our customers um, naturally they want that they want to be able to create content that has that same feel and that same sentiment and ironically uh, a lot of small business owners seem to uh, disregard or don't don't recognize the value of that one-to-one sort of a close relationship that they have with their client base and instead want to be more uh, corporate and have those sort of like those big sort of campaigns as uh, uh, very glossy very slick social media campaigns when in fact what we should be doing is looking towards ourselves and recognizing that the connection that we are creating on a more natural level really is the way forward for for being honest for being transparent for having speed of service as well so i really would say just you know don't forget that really uh definitely kind of focus on that in terms of your your sentiment and your um mindset for your social media content and my final uh my final trend for you during my uh these predictions really is vertical tv so again, going back to Instagram, they launched um, IGTV back in, let me check my notes, June 2018. It's very much in its infancy, still being developed, but that's why it is perfect for small business owners to start exploring and experimenting with Instagram TV. And as I say, it's a vertical format television. It allows you to be able to produce content up to 60 minutes um which it which is wonderful now just as instagram um launched stories and blew snapchat out of the water it'll be very interesting to see the effect that instagram tv has on youtube uh production and video content and engagement uh there's lots of detail that i could go into 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 as to why that is the case and why there is a Sort of like a very uh, negative feeling towards uh, YouTube at the moment from its vloggers um, and users, but which is why I think Instagram TV really is going to be very interesting in terms of its development in 2019. So as I say, if you haven't yet uh, watched any content on IGTV, um, do start exploring that and have a you know have one eye on how it is that you as a small business owner can start to produce slightly longer form content that would work very well on that channel. And again, think about the way that the content you use on Instagram TV would be in addition to Instagram stories and also the feed content that you have uh, within the grid. So there you have it. Those are my top five social media predictions for you in 2019 and I really do want you to try at least one of those trends push yourself out of that social media comfort zone that you got yourself into in 2018 and push out of it because that's where the really good stuff both for you as a business owner and your business and your clients will benefit hugely from